league's best guards went head-to-head -head last night. Two major talents on full display early and often between Catasauqua's Haley Jenkins and Northwestern's Kara Thomas. The home team scored first on Monday night, and they never lose that lead throughout the entire first half. Jenkins gave Caddy its largest edge of the first, up 9-4 off the triple from the left side. Thomas naturally answered right back with the three of her own to trim the deficit to two with two and a half to go in the first. But Jenkins will find Olivia Bear in the final minute. Ruffy's in front, 13-8 through one. A little more back and forth here in the second. Thomas will sneak one in on the baseline to tie us up at 14 with 5.30 before the half. Jenkins, though, will drive through heavy traffic on the other end, finishing through contact for two of her seven second quarter points. But guess who to tie us up again? Thomas on the three ball this time, her second on the night. She's got 10 points at the break as we're deadlocked at 21. The Rough Riders clinging to a two-point advantage up 25-23 at halftime. The visitors will take their first lead of the contest, two and a half into the third, off the triple at the top of the key from Emma Freeman. Jenkins then with one of her three from beyond the arc cuts the deficit to one, but the Tigers remain in front by four, heading to the fourth. The Catasauqua sophomore added another eight points in the final frame, giving her a game-high 27 on Monday night. She'd get her team as close as two down the stretch. Brooke Balliott responsible for two daggers in the final minutes. A huge three and then the steal and finish in the final 15 seconds puts this one out of reach for Caddy. The Tigers win it by the 46-41 final score. I was really proud of the way we pulled through there at the end. We made some big plays, made some big shots, and we just got enough stops there at the end, and we had to... There at the end of the game, you know, we don't we have no seniors out there, so we're going with sophomores, freshmen, juniors. So, you know, they're learning on the fly. I'm just like so proud of the girls. I know it's nerve wracking to, you know, play as a freshman and a sophomore um, in these big games and the big moments. But yeah, I'm just so proud of my teammates and uh, we came out with the win. So it's no easy feat trying to slow down Caddy's Haley Jenkins, but a switch up at halftime defensively to that two three zone certainly helped as Northwestern was able to hang on in in winning its fifth straight game. Um, I think definitely in the second half, like we came out a lot stronger and like ready to play. Um, you know, Jenkins, number five, she really like, she has so much speed and she's very good. Um, but I think going, moving into that two, three, like help like set her back and keep her on the outside more instead of driving in. And I think that really helped us in the end. On the scene at Catasauqua, I'm Cassie Schmidt for the SC Network.